Welcome to another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe for more. In this video, we're looking at dividing a line segment into a given ratio A is to B. Before we get into looking at an example here, I've just taken down the formula from our log tables, which is in green down the bottom here. It's on page 18 in your tables. And just to give a little bit of background of information here, you're basically going to be given a line segment from A to B, and it's going to be broken in a ratio A is to B. So that could be three is to one, uh, five is to two, anything like that. They'll basically be asking you to find the coordinates then of C, a point along that line. Now, we have another video which is looking at finding the start point or the end point when you're given this coordinate. So check out another video for that. But our example now is going to be looking at finding that point which divides the line uh, segment. So let's look at an example. So this question is saying, find the coordinates of the point P, which divides the line segment X and Y in the ratio three is to one. So before we go filling in any formula, best thing is to do is to sketch what you're given. Okay, so this can help us visualize the question then in a little bit more detail. And I'm labeling them X and Y. My X I'm given as minus five, eight and my y I'm given as three minus eight. So they're the two coordinates I'm given. The question then is basically trying to get us to find the point P, which sits on that line segment, and it's in the ratio three is to one. So I'm just gonna mark that on my picture here. So I'm going three is to one. So basically I need to find the coordinates of that point P. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna write down everything that I'm given. So the two coordinates I'm given are minus five and eight, and three and minus eight, and I'm given the ratio three is to one. I'm gonna label now everything I'm given, x1, y1, x2, y2, and my ratio is a is to b, three is to one. Now I'm just gonna put down my formula for my log tables on page 18, which states that uh, b times x1, not y, x1, plus a times x2, all divided by b plus a, comma b times y1 plus a times y2, all over b plus a. And basically now that formula is gonna find us the coordinates of the point p. Now we just fill in our formula, so let's do that. So our coordinates p is equal to uh, b times x1, which is one times minus five, plus a times x2, which is three times three. And that's all divided by b plus a, which is one plus three. Then I'm multiplying the b by the y1, which is one by uh, eight, plus my a, which is three, times my y2, which is minus eight. That is all divided by, once again, b plus a, which is one plus three. Close your bracket. So P is equal to multiplying out the tops. So I'm multiplying one by minus five and three by three. That's giving me minus five plus nine all over four comma. And then I multiply the one by the eight and the three by the minus eight gives me eight plus a negative 24 all over four. Close your bracket. Now I'm just gonna tidy up my fractions now. So that's giving me minus four plus nine, which is P is equal to four over four, comma eight plus negative 24 is eight take 24, which is minus 16 all over four. Simplify your fractions. So four divided by four is giving me one and minus 16 divided by four is negative four. So the coordinates of the point P are one, minus four. And that's basically what the question wanted us to find. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.